Hi, my name is Kang, and I'm an applications engineer in the gauging product line at Texas Instruments. Today, I will be unboxing the BQ27441 G1 EVM. This is one of our impedance track gas gauges that comes in a QFN package. This board comes in two flavors, the Rev A and the Rev B. For the sake of this demonstration, I am using a Rev B board, but the boards are the same, only the pre programmed memory contents are different. Please refer to the TRM for more details. In this box, you will find the board in the plastic ESD bag with an I2C cable. It's the I2C cable and the board. One other thing you will need to evaluate and work with any gauge EVM is a EV2300 or 2400. The EV23 or 2400 interfaces with the computer to communicate with any of our EVMs that use I2C, HDQ, or SM bus. The EV2400 requires no drivers to be installed, so it will be a lot easier to use the EV2400. Visit the eStore to purchase the EV23 or 2400. For today's demonstration, we will use the EV2400. Now, I will show you how to connect the board and perform a basic charge and discharge. To begin, let's connect our battery to the PAC plus and PAC minus terminals of the J5 connector. Something unique to the BQ27441 is that it has a bin pin. The bin pin is meant for battery detection in the system. For the sake of this demonstration, I will hook up a 10 kilo ohm resistor from the bin pin to PAC minus. For other methods of battery detection, please see the technical reference manual. The board should now be powered on and have detected the battery. Now, let's plug in one end of the I2C cable to the J10 connector and the other end to the I2C terminal on the EV2400 box. We now plug in the EV2400 box to the PC with the USB cable provided. We can now start BQ Studio evaluation software in order to read the memory contents of the board. For first time configuration, we will access the question and answer plugin in BQ Studio. We will answer the questions in the quick configuration tab. Once this is done, we hit save to gauge to get the parameters updated. All memory contents have now been updated. The BQ27441 is a ROM gas gauge. All memory contents are stored in RAM. If it loses power, you will have to reconfigure the memory. You can read the ITPOR bit in the flags register in order to detect loss of power. For all battery experiments, it is crucial to log the voltage, current, and temperature information as the battery is cycling. We can do this with BQ Studio from the registers tab. Please click start log to create a new log. The registers in this tab are now all logged to a CSV file. Today, I will be using a source meter to charge and discharge the battery. A source meter is a power meter capable of charging and discharging a load. I have it set up to discharge the battery. I will hook up the positive and negative terminals to the charger load connector. The battery is now discharging at the specified current. From BQ Studio, we can see the average current meter reporting this discharge current. We will now remove the load and apply a charge current.
we see that the average current register is reporting this charge current. Before we go, we would like to point out one keynote when doing experiments with the BQ27441 device. It is imperative to keep the board close to the battery surface. The battery will heat up considerably when high currents are being drawn. The on-die temperature sensor needs to use this data to accurately gauge. For typical experiments, we put the board on top of the battery surface, and sometimes we put the battery and board into a thermal box to simulate an enclosed device. Thanks for watching. Look for the next video in the unboxing video series. Thank you.